I will show you a semi-automatic deployment of two spine switches and two leaf switches. I have fully functional data center with nine VLANs, two servers connected to the leaf switches and the leaf switches connected to the spine. One of the servers is connected with LACP and the other one has two single ports. And the best of all is that I will not log into one single switch and I will do all the configuration in Excel. I will guide you through the configuration in the Excel sheet. You will be working in the yellow fields. You will put host name, management IP, the net mask, man management route if you want, and the next stop for the management. Very simple. Set Telnet allowed, SSH allowed, username, password, enable password. You will probably enable LLDP, which is really, really efficient when you work with your switches. You can choose to enable Jumbo frames if you want. Enable RSTP, it's definitely very recommended to have RSTP enabled, even if you have an active, active design and no block links and the bridge priorities. You put the VLT domain, different VLT domains for spine and leaf. And if you add more leaf switches, it will be additional VLT domains. And you will put a VLT system MAC address, which is a unique address that you assign to each pair or each VLT pair. And you choose a VLTI port channel. You can change that, but I recommend that you just keep this value. And you also say how many, which ports you will have in this VLTI port channel. So we basically have this is prepared for two VLTI links, two links between the pair of switches. If you have storage traffic that has to be lossless, you can also configure DCB. And uh, last but not least, you will just uh, specify the number of uplinks. In my case, I have only one 40 gig uplink per switch because I don't have more cables. And you will put the number of leaf switch pairs. And this is basically used to automatically configure the, the downlink port channels on the spine switch. You will see that later on. Time to configure the ports. We have a server on port one. We configure the port as a hybrid switch port. We put port channel one and we put the server, the port description server one. We also have a server connected to port 48, but we don't use a port channel to that server. And we have the port channel 10 going to a spy. And as you also see there, do not configure port 53 and 54 because the VL, those ports are used for VLTI. Time to start working with the VLANs. I will configure nine VLANs and I give them a very suitable description. And as you can see here, we only have yellow fields for the ports that have been configured. So it's port 1 and port 48 and port 50. And you can also see which port channels are on each port. Port 1 is connected to server 1 and we have decided to put VLAN 10 tagged on that port and VLAN 20 as untagged. So we'll put T and U. And on port 48 connected to the other server, we have decided to tag all VLANs. So let's do that. And on port channel 10, which is port 50, we will tag all VLANs. I think you have understood how it works now. So let's go to the spine switches. We go to the spine ports. And as you see here, we have two automatically configured port channels one to each uh, leaf pair. And as you see, you cannot configure the port channel number on those or should not. 
We configure the ports as hybrid ports. The VLTI was configured on the general tab, so let's go on to the VLAN configuration on the spine switches. There are only two ports configured on the spine, and they have port channel 100 and 101. And the most natural is, of course, to tag all VLANs on all ports. So let's do that. We are all set. Let's just press the button and save the commands to the files hostname.txt. Let's start doing some commands to the switches. And you can see in the bottom left corner the details of, of the commands. First, I copy the startup configuration to the PC. So we have a, an initial setup. And then I run the configure switches bat file. That you can also see in the bottom left corner. And now in the background, this process is running. Very soon, you will see here in the right corner that the switches have been configured. I only have one port configured on the switches, so that's why I only have one port up. All the VLANs are configured. And we take a look at the other switches as well to see that the configurations are there. And of course, VLT is up and running on the other switch as well. The next step is to save the running configuration to the startup configuration. Once that is done, we will uh, copy the startup configuration to the PC and we'll compare the initial configuration with the configuration we have after the deployment to verify what commands we have been using. So, using uh, plink, which is included in Putty, some bat commands and uh, some uh, Excel programming and an Excel sheet, I've created a semi-automatic way to deploy data center fabrics with uh, Dell S6000 and S4048 switches. I hope it has been useful and please contact me if you want the code or want the Excel sheets or want any more information. Thanks a lot.